Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to be showing you a series of exam questions for CB1 and SB1, Key Concepts in Biology. For each of the questions I will show you how to annotate uh, the key information that it provides you and also then give you an opportunity to answer each of those questions. Okay, nice easy one to begin with. This DNA is found in a structure with in the cell of a strawberry plant. On the diagram, so it's on the diagram of the plant cell, which is this one down below, draw command word and name structure containing DNA. Okay, so it's worth two marks there and it's giving you two command words, so drawing and naming. So one mark would be awarded for drawing it and the second mark was going to be for naming it. Okay, pause the video and have a go at doing that now for me. Okay, now what you should have drawn is a structure that looks a bit like this. Shaded it in. And that would have been one mark. You should also have then labelled it with the name Nucleus, because Nucleus is this particular structure that contains the DNA. Now, theoretically, you could have actually drawn your nucleus anywhere in this area here, the cytoplasm. Okay, so anywhere if you've drawn your, your blob-like structure, um, you would have got the mark. It would have been no-no if you'd drawn it right in the middle, because this is our vacuole. And again, a no-no if you drew it in the outside um, area here, because that would have been your cell wall. Two marks for that one. Okay, next question. Figure 7 Figure seven shows some streptococcus bacteria. Now, to be honest, I just don't really probably need to know that at the moment, but we'll come back to that in a second. It's showing you bacteria. Some bacteria are motile, meaning they can move themselves. And a motor might be a word you've not come across before, but it has just told you that it means that they can move. So don't be put off by that word. Why is Streptococcus bacterium not motile? Again, the key, key bit there is not motile. Now, if you think back to when you've learned about bacteria, what is it that most bacteria that can move have that this particular one does not have? Okay, pause the video and have a go now. Okay, your answer should have been this one here. Okay, it does not have a flagella. Now, if you remember, flagella in your bacteria cell uh, looks like a tail. Okay. And as you can see, these bacteria do not have them. So it would have been one mark if you'd suggested A. Next question. Figure 9 shows a root tip with cells in different stages of mitosis. So key area here, root tip um, and different stages of mitosis. The image was magnified by 400 um times explain key command word there how magnification of 400 times can be obtained using lenses on a light microscope now interesting isn't it that this question is giving you a really nice picture of a root hair cell told you um, in detail here about the root tip being in different stages of mitosis but actually, the question has nothing really to do with this. What it's actually asking you to do is just explain how can you get a magnification of 400 times on, um, on a light microscope. Okay, pause the video and have a go now. Okay, now it's worth two marks. Okay, and actually there are two lenses involved um, at getting this magnification. So... Um, you could say something like 
Ja. Hi, Fieslands. Red. B. One ten. And your objective lens. Red. B. Um, that's forty. We get those together. Um, so ten times forty equals your four hundred. One mark there, one mark there, and that just really reinforces that you know what you're talking about. Okay, describe command red. Describe how the structure of a red blood cell is related to its function. And remember the word function means job. By three marks. Now, what it really wants you to do in this question is to link whatever structural adaptation the red blood cell has to its job. Okay, so think about how is it adapted and how does that help with its job. Okay, pause the video and have a go now. Now, one of the things that is really important in a question like this is if it's talking about the function of something um, like a red blood cell, it's a really good way of um, answering the question is actually to state what the function is. So what I would have done is the function of a red blood cell is to Transport oxygen around the body. And that actually would one of uh, would be one of the marking points. It can do this because it has no nucleus okay now at the moment that is a, a strong point that tells me about the structure but I haven't really related it in detail to the function so I've now got to really relate back why having no nucleus actually helps it do this okay so it can do this because it has no nucleus which means There is more space to carry oxygen in the cell. That's one mark. Okay, so you actually had to state the structural uh, adaptation and link it to how it helps it do this. Uh, another statement you could have made is it has a biconcave shape. Okay, I can't remember what that is. A cross section of a red blood cell that actually like this. So it dips in at the top and then at the bottom. So you've got one concave side and a second concave side. And remember, bi means two. Bicycle. Like with two wheels. Okay, so it has a biconcave shape, uh, which gives it a large surface area. And that's quite a strong sentence, but I still haven't really said how having a, uh, a large surface area links to this. Uh, so there's a biconcave shape which gives it a large surface area, which means it means it can quickly use O2 and 
to the south. That would be one marking point. Uh, a final statement, I mean we've already got three marking points here, but another statement that you might potentially have heard is it contains hemoglobin. Okay, um, this is a protein which binds with oxygen to carry it in the blood cell. Okay, uh, I'm just going to do one more question with you now. Okay, so a similar type of question. Um, this time we're talking about explaining how the structure of the villi allows efficient absorption of soluble products in digestion. Okay, now the reason I've used this question is it's very similar to the, stru uh, the structure of the question before. Okay, so again, what you need to do is you need to give a statement about the structure, but then expand on that to link at how that affects um, its ability to have a efficient absorption. Okay, it's four marks. Now, the marking on this one is state the structure. Okay. And then link to ability to absorb. Okay, so you get one mark followed by one mark and you actually do this whole process once for the four marks. Okay, pause the video and have a go at that now. Okay, so um, Vinay 